Hello to all of my certified and lead consultants. I'm Colleen Regan, your star director. And I'm going to go over a few things with you. We're going to do this call uh, once a month. And I'm going to have you guys just kind of sit um, and resonate with what I'm sharing and um, have you really just think about it and work towards um, you know, your goals, and I want to be able to help you regardless of what your goal is, regardless if they are completely different from one another. Um, the information that I'm going to share with you, I think, is going to help you on any level. And um, I'm so glad that you're here with us, whether you are a brand new certified or lead consultant or a seasoned certified or lead consultant. I'm so happy that you're here. So, um, the first thing that's very important is to know why you're doing this. Um, you need to be able to set goals. And I think setting goals is important to have a long-term goal. Um, for instance, you could have a long-term goal of um, earning a trip, earning an incentive trip with Sensi. This is just an example. Um, but in order to reach that long-term goal, you really have to kind of sit and think about how you're going to reach that instead of just saying like, okay, I'm going to earn this incentive trip. Guys, I see it all the time. I hear it all the time. I'm going to earn this trip. But then once it comes down to it, um, I, I notice that it's not happening. And why? Because people are not setting short-term goals with it. So great. I want to see you earn that trip if that's what you want. But how are you going to earn it? How? And this is the same for, okay, my long-term goal is to get, you know, free Scentsy for myself every other month. Okay, perfect. How are you going to do that? How? So let's really talk and think about some of the things that we're going to do to create, um, to create our long-term goals. Number one, the biggest, most important key to your business is consistency, okay? Um, as a certified and lead consultant, you really need to build up momentum um, to kind of get off the ground running. Did you know that an airplane um, uses most of its fuel just to get off the ground? And then once it's in the air, okay, it kind of maintains. And, and evens out. But most of the momentum comes from getting off the ground, like your business, okay? So you really need to, uh, it, building a foundation and working toward your long-term goal is in the small everyday things that you do. It's not what you do once in a while, it's what you do every single day that counts, okay? And in this business, okay, I grew my business for three years working 30 minutes a day, 30 minutes. Sometimes that 30 minutes was broken up into smaller increments throughout the day, five minutes here, 10 minutes there, um, you know, when my children were napping or when I had a minute after they went to bed. And sometimes it was 30 minutes when I sat down. Um, all that you need in this business, okay? is the three legs of success. And the three legs of success are sales. And with sales um, comes follow-up, okay? And then we have uh, recruiting, which is just sharing the opportunity and sharing this amazing business with other people for them to take advantage of this opportunity. Um, and training, training yourself and training new teammates or training your team. Okay, so whenever you sit down, you only need to go by the three legs of success. So when you sit down, you look at sales. How am I, now this is all relevant to how you're going to reach your goals. Sales, how am I getting my sales every single month? That is the most important um, income producing activity. You'll hear me talk about IPAs. IPAs is an acronym for income producing activities. That's only what you need to work on. That's all that you need to focus on. All the other stuff will not drive your business. Um, 
It's just fluff. Okay. So think about income producing activities, sales. Now we are a party planning business. I used to thrive on home parties face to face. Okay. Um, because of COVID, I have been able to do 30 minute online parties four to five times a month, 30 minute online parties, you guys. Now, the reason why parties are so important is because you're going to get bulkier, bigger PRV. PRV is personal retail volume. It's what you sell personally. Okay. So you need to know where your sales are coming from every month in advance, being prepared. If you don't know where your sales are coming from, this opportunity is going to turn into something stressful. You're going to get um, stressed out. You're going to be, um, you know, in, in panic mode. Okay. And you're going to do desperate things. And when you act desperate, okay, it's very off putting. It's very off putting to your audience, to your customers, to your family, and your friends. Now, by this point, I'm sure you've had a launch party. Now, your launch party is only for your closest family and friends. It's just to introduce to them what Sensi is and why you're doing it. Okay. Um, you cannot possibly grow any further, um, get your Sensi at a discount every month, every other month, even at that, um, with just your closest family and friends. Um, so don't think, oh, I don't know that many people. You guys, I had three people come to my launch party, my sister, my best friend, and my best friend's mother. And that is it. My closest friends and family do not buy Sensi from me. The people that buy Sensi from me, that host parties with me, and that end up joining my team are people that I meet along the way. How? Through parties. Now, you decide, you have the freedom to decide when you want to work your business and what kind of parties you want to do. But we are a party planning business. Um, and so parties are what you can front load on your calendar. So I highly recommend that you get a planner and that you look at your calendar month to month and decide what days you want to do parties. Now, home parties are face to face. You can bring some testers in a warmer with you and literally just have your your uh, friends, family, or your friends and families, uh, friends, snip the testers, show them what a warmer is. Okay. People still have really no idea what Sensi is. Um, and that's really all you need catalog testers in a warmer. You can also do online parties, which is what I do. Some people do them for a week at a time. Um, I have done them a lot of different ways for me personally, and what works for somebody may not work for somebody else. So you really have to just keep doing this until you figure out what works for you. Okay. Um, and what comes most naturally to you, but don't be afraid to push yourself outside of your comfort zone. Cause that's where the big results come from. Um, and then you can do tote basket or pouch parties. They're called. So what you essentially do is you send your testers with some order forms, a catalog off with one of your friends and they share it with all of their friends wherever they go for a week, okay? So maybe you have a friend that's a nurse. You say, bring this with you to work. Um, you collect orders and you're the host, but it's a pouch party. So it's super easy and convenient. They just bring it with them wherever they go, collect the orders, have their friends and family smell the testers, um, flip through the catalog. You can send some samples off with her as well. And then, they get all of the rewards and you still get all the sales, okay? So the point of parties, you can ask anybody to book a party with you because what you're offering is host rewards. Sensi offers host rewards for every single host. Now, what that is, it's a free credit amount and half-priced items of their choice. Okay, so in order to start accruing host rewards, you need at least $200 in sales. Okay, once from starting at $200 in sales, um, you're going to get $20 in free credit and one half price item. Okay, once you hit that minimum qualifying amount, you're also going to get a perpetual party reward. Now, that is kind of like a secret uh, bonus. 50% off that Sensi gives you as the consultant. And why Sensi gives you that is to help you book parties. It's an extra 50% off item. 
So the reason why I book as many parties as I do is because I use that perpetual party reward as a way to give my host a little extra something. So booking a party is a no brainer. Okay. So not only will you get free and half price items of your choice with the regular host rewards that Sensi offers, I, as a personal promotion that you can only do privately, okay, one-on-one -on -one or like um, through a text message, through a one-on-one -on -one conversation, I offer that host. I'll say, um, hey, Susie, um, I don't know if you know yet, but I joined Sensi and the products are amazing. They're safe. They're cheaper. Um, and they're much cooler than Yankee Candle or any of the other home fragrance that we all use in our home. And I want to share it with you by giving you some free samples um, and even giving you free and half price products of your choice. If you want to get a few friends together for a 30 minute online scent event in May, I will also give you a free mini warmer of your choice on top of your host rewards. And host rewards is the free and half price products of your choice. So what I'm doing there is I'm saying, if you book in May, because you can ask people and they'll say, oh yeah, sure. You know, when, it, when life isn't so busy or when things calm down, guys, things are never gonna calm down. They're not gonna reach back out to you and say, I'm ready to have a party, okay? So when you first joined, in my just joined now what video and in my Frankie list video that I'm sure most of you have watched, I um, have you create a Frankie list. A Frankie list is an acronym for friends, relatives, acquaintances, neighbors, kids association, internet friends, and extraordinary people. Okay. Um, and, and that helps you think of people that you know. It's not your closest family and friends. It's not your mom, your sister, and your best friend. It is people that you know, okay? So think of all the internet friends you have. Think of your neighbors. Think of coworkers. People that you don't consider best friends. Like, I don't have that many friends. You don't need a lot of friends to succeed in this business. So once you've created that Frankie list, just start reaching out to people and if they, especially if they haven't tried Sensi, this is a way for you to bring them on as a new customer by offering them to try Sensi for free and half off. Plus, you'll give them that extra something with the perpetual party reward that makes it so hard for them to pass up. Okay. So I'm saying if you get a few friends together, a few close friends together, for a 30 minute online scent event. Now, again, you choose what kind of party you want, but I'm trying to fill my calendar for each month with as many parties as I can. So I know where my sales are coming from. I do 30 minute online scent events. So I have each customer or host invite only their closest family and friends. I do not have them adding everybody that they've ever met. Click add, 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 no. For my, just specifically for my online events, I say, invite your closest family and friends through a text message first, and then tell them you're setting up um, an online event through Facebook. If I was going to do a home party, I would say only invite seven to 10 of your closest family and friends. That's it. So if you personally invite your closest family and friends, now it's so key that I have my hosts personally invite their guests before we set up anything because think about it if you get a notification on Facebook that somebody's inviting you to a home party or an online whatever it is right two things if you look and see that you're one of 100 you know that they don't even care if you're there you're just a number to hopefully increase their sales or their rewards okay um two if you get a personal invite, they're more likely going to show up because you are just saying, hey, I just wanted to invite my closest family and friends. Um, I'd love for you to come and try this. This stuff is awesome. It's safer, cooler, and cheaper than, you know, candles. Guys, we're, we're selling things 
that everybody uses. Everybody has home fragrance in their home. So instead of candles, instead of air wick oil plugins, and I mean, everything, everything that we sell is a consumable product that people use. We're not selling diet pills. We're not selling things that only a few people use. Everybody has home fragrance. Okay. So you have them reach out to their closest family and friends. Okay. And you offer a little something extra. So what happens is my host has their party. Okay. And so the higher the sales, the higher the rewards. So if they have a $500 party, they're going to get a lot of free credit in several half off items of their choice. So what I do is um, once they hit that qualifying amount, at least $200 in sales. Okay. Now I say to them, so they agree to have their party. You know, we have their party and I'm host coaching them ahead of time. So, okay. I want you to per send a personal text out to your just your closest family and friends. And once you've done that, let me know and I will set up the Facebook invite. Okay. The, in the event. Okay. So then they, I touch base with them in two days or they reach out to me first. Okay. I've done so. Then I set it up. And so then I say, okay, this is the day and the time that we've determined that I'm going to do this. And so, um, I want to let you know that we've got to hit at least $200 in sales for you to start accruing host rewards with Sensi. And if you do at $200, you'll get $20 in free credit and one half priced item. Okay. But on top of that, in order for you to get that free mini warmer that I offered you for booking your for booking this scent event with me in May, um, I'll give you that free mini warmer once we hit $350 in sales. So it's an incentive for them to invite their guests and to kind of, you know, be a little uh, be a little training or trainee consultant. Okay. So a host has to do their part as well. So um, it kind of incentivize, incent, incentivize. I'm trying to think of the correct word, but um, it gives them an incentive to get higher sales. Okay. So what happens is they have their party, they get their rewards, you enter in their rewards, and then it will say perpetual party reward. You can give it to anybody that has ordered through the party. I add myself as a guest to their party, okay? I give the perpetual party reward to me, and I put in, as long as they've hit that, you know, amount that we've decided and agreed on to get the free extra incentive I've offered, um, I add myself, I give myself the reward, and I add in whatever item they've chosen, and then I pay 50%. So if I'm offering a free mini warmer for that month to anybody that books a 30 minute scent event, then I'm paying $10 because a mini warmer is 20. So in, for me, you can choose whatever works for you, you guys. You can do a free room spray. A room spray is $8. So that means you're paying $4 when you use that reward, okay? Now you're, you're gonna offer that to them when you close their party not before. So you're going to close it with their party. That's when you get the perpetual party reward. Okay. So you will get it then. Um, and as long as they've hit the amount that you've both agreed upon, then that's when you, you're going to uh, put it in and place the order. Okay. So what that does for you. Okay. You have to think about this. Me spending that $10, usually a mini warmer does the job. But you have to think about this. Booking parties is not just about sales. Yes, it is. Sales is the main factor because you are, you know where your sales are coming from. Okay. People are there in, in you know, the online event or whatever they're doing because they know it's a Scentsy party, right? You're going to be highlighting and showing them different Scentsy products and showing them what Scentsy is and why people love it. So it's important to get that high sales. Cause if you want to, if you want to make money, okay. If you want to earn a trip, if you want to, um, meet enough people to have enough people order from you consistently, 
then you need to build a customer base. You need to have higher sales every month. You need to know where your sales are coming from every single month. You do not want to be scrambling, begging people to place orders, asking your the same family and friends over and over and over. So with booking parties, with asking the people that are on your Frankie list, okay, you are getting higher sales. You are introducing somebody to Sensi and they're getting it free and half off plus an incentive from you. No brainer. Why would you want to pay full price when you don't have to? They can do that through you as a host. And you're meeting brand new people, you guys, because everybody knows seven to 10 people that you don't. Okay. And that is going to help you build your foundation and your network. You constantly have to meet new people in this business in order to grow further than where you are right at this second. So if you don't know where your sales are coming from, you need to be able to do that consistently. Again, consistency is key. So when you sit down to work every day and you don't know what to do, going by the three legs of success in order is sales number one, okay? So your sales need to be in order every month before you do anything else. And for me, that's booking parties. So know where your sales are coming from, okay? Because if I book, if Sally books a party with me and I'm offering her Sensi host rewards and the perpetual party reward, which is there to help you book parties, okay? Then Sally is inviting seven to 10 people that I don't know, that I'm just meeting. And so then I add them. I, I send them a private message as soon as they accept the invite. And I say, hi, it's nice to meet you. I'm Colleen. I'm your consultant for this you know, super easy and convenient online event. How do you know the host? Have you ever used Sensi? Is there anything that you want me to cover while I'm doing this? Get a dialogue going back and forth. Then I start talking to them through you know, private message. And then I add them to my social media. I add them to my social media so they can see who I am, that I'm a normal person just like them, that I'm not some crazy sales consultant trying to get in their pocket. And I also add them to my customer VIP page so they can see all the specials, deals, and bundles that I always have going on and how amazing I treat my customers. Okay. So again, Sally knows seven to 10 people that you don't. And then I meet those people, I bring them onto my social media, I bring them onto my customer VIP page, I start building connections with them through social media, and then one of them, or two of them, or three of them end up booking their own parties, and I tell the host, hey, if you know two of your guests that, you know, would book a party, let me know, and if they do, I'll throw in a free counter cleaner for you, okay? So I always try to book more parties through every single party, through the people that I'm just meeting. And I, I try to do that with the host helping me. So if Sally knows seven to 10 people that I don't know, and then I meet all those people, each of them know seven to 10 people that I don't know. And that's how you continually build and build and build. It's not through your family and friends, you guys, okay? You start with your inner circle, with your launch party. And then you expand and expand and expand and expand. And I am here almost five years later because of parties. So start here and do it consistently. And the other way to get your family and friends interested in having them booking parties and the people that you are, uh, the people that are watching you through social media, guys, take advantage of social media, okay? Because these people that you would never see on a daily basis are, are at your fingertips on your phone or your computer and they're right there, okay? So if you're not sharing what Sensi is, how you use it, personal photos, why you love it consistently, consistently through your posts and your stories, you are missing a huge opportunity because social media is free. Okay. And again, you would not normally see these people and you can say, I'm not friends with them guys. It's not about who you're friends with. It's about who, you know, who you can network with and who, you know, you can bring in as a customer or send samples to. Um, and then when you send the samples, you follow up with them and say, Hey, I'm placing an order. 
and they want to place an order and you say, you know what, why don't we book a party instead? So here's a few things for you to do. Stay consistent on social media. Share what Sensi is. Share, go back to basics. What is Sensi? How do you use it? How is it different than other home fragrance? Um, show personal photos of Scentsy in your home. Show people how to decorate. Show all the different products. Pick six products out of the catalog that you love, that you can share consistently. You can share it over and over and over and over again because some people don't even see your posts. So do it consistently, okay? Again, it's not what you do once in a while. It's what you do all the time that counts. So social media, stay consistent and share what Sensi is. If you're not talking about it, nobody knows and nobody's interested. Okay, number two, go through your Frankie list and book parties. Reach out to people, let them know, hey, I'm doing a special promotion for the month of May. If you do a super easy and convenient 30 minute scent event with me and invite just your closest family and friends, super easy. You'll get free and half price products of your choice. And I'll throw in a free mini warmer to make it worth your while, okay? You're creating a sense of urgency by saying for the month of May, they have to take advantage of it in May if they want it. And number two, you're offering them something extra, okay? So there's that. Um, and number three, anybody that has ordered from you up to this point, okay? Anybody, your closest family and friends included, but anybody, make sure you're following up with them. Ask them how they're liking their Scentsy. Um, you know, I set up a link and I share it with all of my customers on my customer VIP page. And I say, anybody that orders through this link from me this month will be entered into a raffle at the end of the month, okay? Again, these are things that you need to share privately though, because you cannot post this on your, your public Facebook page because it's out of compliance with Scentsy. But I use that perpetual party reward always in my advantage, okay? So make sure that you reach out to anybody that's ordered from you up to this point and say, hey, I just want to make sure you're liking your Scentsy. Do you need anything? And if they say yes, offer them a party instead. Because why would they have to pay for their order when they can get it for free and half off if they just get a few people together in the month of May? They'll get it free and half off and you'll throw in whatever you want to use the perpetual party reward for, okay? So at this title as a certified and or lead consultant, these are the things that you need to be working on consistently. So when you build up to star and superstar, you have a foundation of customers and sales because what's next? What is next in the three legs of success? It's sales number one and then number two, it's recruiting, okay? So we have a few things that we're gonna work on under the umbrella of sales. We're gonna be doing this title training series at least through the summer. Um, and I hope this works for you guys. I want you to focus just on a few things at a time so you're not overwhelmed or confused and you can really pinpoint what your goals are and how you're gonna get there. It's, easy to, it's so easy to say, we're gonna do this or we're gonna do that, but how are you gonna do it? Again, with anything that I'm telling you, consistency is key. So make sure, okay, that you have a long-term goal, that you know how you're going to break it down short-term, and that sales is the, the, the jumping point. You know where your sales are coming from every single month. So I hope you took notes. And if you didn't, go back, rewatch, take notes, and put this into action. If you want to succeed, this is the way to go. I will help you do it. If you have questions, please let me know and I will send you with another video next month. Have a good day.